Let's talk about setting up customer default information. To set up our customer default information, come here to the Maintain pull-down menu. Next, come down to Default Information and over to Customers. Now, we're going to set up default information for all of our customers. First, let's go to the Account Aging tab. This section here, Age Invoices, this is relative to your customer statements and your aged receivables report. The report is broken up between these columns here, 30, 60, 90, and over 90 days. Depending on which column an invoice shows up in is based on this, invoice date or due date. The common practice is by invoice date. So in other words, if you invoice someone on September 1st, up until September 30th, that invoice will show up here in the number of days column, first column. However, if you have due date selected and your customer terms are 30 days, that invoice that you cut on September 1st is not due until September 30th. So that means that 30 days after September 30th, which would be October 29th, that invoice would still show up in the 30 days column. So you want to be aware, based on how you set up this screen, of where invoices will appear on your aging report. So once again, the common thing to do is select invoice date. Next, custom fields. These are the custom fields that you can set up to gather more information about your customers. Use this box to enable or disable a field. If you uncheck it, now this field is disabled. Let's quickly compare this these fields here with the customer record screen. Let's cancel this window, come here to maintain customers. And let's pull up our first customer. Come to the custom field screen and you can see where this information is and how it appears in here. Once again, let's go back to the default information for customers, the custom field screen. So if we instead wanted to find out different information additional information about this customer, we can change these fields here. And they'll be immediately reflected here. Let's close this window and go back to our default information window again. Let's talk about finance charges. Peachtree can charge finance charges for us automatically based on how we set up this screen. If we wish to choose find if, if we wish to charge finance charges, select this box, and then we set up our information here. Charge finance charges on invoices that are 15 days overdue, and we can set up these limits here. We can also tell P Street to charge interest on finance charges. So this is a way of compounding finance charges. And finally, Let's warn the customer that we do charge finance charges by checking this box and depending on the rules for your area you may need to call this a finance charge or a late charge. You'll want to check with your accountant or CPA as to the proper terminology you want to use. Now let's talk about pay methods. Over here, these are default pay methods that we'll have in our receipts window. The receipts window will be covered in more detail in a later video. Here, 
we briefly want to cover the amounts or the items and the way that customers pay us cash check American Express discover MasterCard and Visa if there are any any other methods such as cashier's check or something else you'll want to include them here over here is where we assign deposit ticket IDs once again this will be covered in the receipts video